five months ago, and it is only, literally only five months ago, Jeremy and the late, God rest his soul, Michael Nietzsche, and a couple of other left MPs were in, sitting in a room, and we were trying to discuss the pressure we were under to run a candidate for the Labour leadership. And so all eyes went on to Jeremy. <laughs> all eyes went on to Jeremy, and we basically said, well, it's your turn. <laughs> and he's, and Jer uh, he didn't want to do it, to be honest. He wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't clean. And we said, we all have to make sacrifices, Jeremy, <laughs> in this life. He said, all right, go on then. <laughs> That's the sort of leader I want. <laughs> what the establishment don't understand is that we just have a different concept of leadership. We come together as a collective, as a community, as a class, and we come to decisions, and leaders don't make those decisions, they follow the community, the collective, they do. Anyway, we got to the final day, and as you know, we won by the largest mandate any Labour leader has had. Why did that happen? I think that because there was a hunger and a thirst yes. for honest politics, yes. straight talking, Ideas, not just told to people, but discussed together as a collective. Of course we're working through the Labour Party to ensure we build it up as an electoral force that can win elections. But the reality is, that electoral force will not succeed unless there's also support and the movement outside of the Labour Party parliamentary process itself. That's why we discussed throughout the campaign that we had to transform the Labour Party and the Labour movement back into a social movement again, exactly as it was when it was first founded. It wasn't just about electioneering, it wasn't just about winning elections, it was bringing communities together so they can determine their own futures, they can discuss, they can raise, really raise their understanding, their consciousness of the world they operate in, and develop themselves as a movement that will transform society at every level from the community right up to the nation state and then linking up with others across the world globally to transform our world. That's what this is all about. And the whole process of the Jeremy's campaign was about building the momentum that would then launch a social movement that would ensure not just that we win elections and we sustain Labour governments, socialist governments, but also that we transform society at every level. That's why we launched this organisation called Momentum. This is one of, I think, the most momentous periods of politics in this country. We've not seen anything like this for over a century. Not on the scale, or the commitment, or the opportunity. That's why they're throwing everything at us. Everything. The media is coming at us all the time. Jeremy's family and all of our families now have been persecuted by the media. But we've stood up solidly and bravely and courageously against them. <laughs> so people stop me in the street and say, have you read such and such? I say, look, if it's in the Daily Mail, it must be true. <laughs> it must be true. In addition to the media, other forms of the establishment will do all they can to undermine this movement. Divide us, of course, and by dividing us, then try to destroy us. But what's fascinating, absolutely fascinating this time round, is the determination people have that we've shown that from a small number of people sitting in a room trying to find a candidate, we've built a movement that wins an election of the major political party in this country, that then holds meetings around the country, thousands and tens of thousands of people coming together, networking together, to decide that they will determine their future, not the establishment. That they will transform our society, that they will not be defeated by media harassment, or politicians that denounce that what we say. I think this is the most momentous period in our country's political history for a century. Yes. You are part of that story. You were there throughout our campaigns, many of you. You built the support that enabled us to get Jeremy elected. You're now building us the support to enable us to win a Labour government. But more importantly, you're building the support to enable us at every level of our society to transform it. We need absolute strength, strength, determination. When they come throwing that stuff at us, determination. But also we need that thing that was discovered 
by the workers in the at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, in the small workshops and in the fields. It was a secret. It is a secret that together we're strong. We put it on our banners. The workers united will never be defeated. Yeah. Unity is strength. The injury to one is the injury to all. What do we call it? What is that secret? What do we call it? It was solidarity. We need strength, determination, but above all else, solidarity. Solidarity, brothers.